I'll tell you what, I hate driving out here. Like. <sighs> Anyways, I'm about to get off this because I'm currently lost. <gasps> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kimmy favorite yaddy girl. Okay. Y'all, 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 y'all. Hopefully y'all watch the last vlog because otherwise this vlog may or may not be a little bit confusing to you. Um, but basically we are homeless like we're homeless like dead ass and i'm not even like being dramatic or anything oh this lighting hold on where is it hold on it was nicer to, oh beautiful <laughs> it's not even that golden hour but anyways y'all so i'm not even being like extra or nothing and if you know me you know i'm a little bit dramatic but being dead ass we're homeless right now so <laughs> If you're new here, let me just basically give you a quick, quick, quick rundown. So I'm a army wife. My husband is in the army, obviously. I just said I'm an army wife. But anyways, yes. So my husband's in the army. And basically, we've been doing this long-ass process of transitioning from National Guard to active duty. And let's just say within the last two weeks, it, everything has kicked up into high, 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 high gear first it was moving like a snail but yeah once he got that release everything just happened so fast so within six days we got our orders and had to pick up all our shit and basically leave town so we lived in indiana our last vlog literally was in indiana and now we're in georgia so that's where we live now well that's where we will be living we're here now but we don't live anywhere um i say that because we're actually staying in a hotel this is it we're at the army hotel on fort stewart base which is it's like about 30 minutes from savannah georgia so you know a, a, a this is actually the same base that his sister is stationed at as well if you're in the fort stewart area say hey 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 um so far i'm not gonna lie i'm liking it a lot um the weather is nice the weather is really nice as you can tell i'm out here living my best life i'm like sleeves out shoulders out like everything i'm the weather is nice and um earlier i took the girls to there's like a little playground like literally right across from the hotel took them over there we were playing and stuff i met this other army wife and y'all she says she's she's also sitting in this hotel waiting for housing as well and bruh she said she's been here for over a month waiting for housing like i can't even fathom staying in this goddamn hotel room for a month with these kids it's insane like <laughs> it's insane and it's funny because we both had the same idea because we basically took our kids out to the park just so we could get out the crammed ass room and just get a little breathing space and to think that i'm already at that point and i've only been in the hotel for this is like our second day in the hotel and I already was trying to like get out and she's been here for a whole month like I can't imagine like being here for a month but anyways so a lot's obviously gonna be different you know like my my life isn't necessarily how it is normally anymore it's a little bit different hey so um it's gonna be a little bit of like an adjustment I not only do i not live anywhere but i don't have a job right now either aside from like um doing makeup normally y'all know me i'm a workaholic so uh, it's gonna take a little while to get that figured out i was actually i guess being a little bit naive about how i thought this whole process would be i've I was thinking you know we would get here from what we were being told and just everything just how I imagine it I thought maybe we would be in a hotel for like a few days you know be like going around looking at housing getting Chrissy in school and all that within like the first week and then by the second week we would like you know be moving in but 
from what I'm seeing and hearing from people who actually live here that's not gonna be the case I think I'm actually gonna end up being in this hotel for a while and as long as I'm in the hotel Chrissy actually can't go to school either so yeah I'm gonna end up being in the hotel not just in a hotel but like with my kids and in case y'all think this is like some five-star hotel let me kind of like show y'all this shit is it's not trash but it's like giving days in vibes like i want to show you but one of the housekeepers is actually on my floor right now and i don't want to be rude and just be like pointing the camera in that direction because she might feel like i'm recording her and i'm really not so but anyways um basically let me show you this side so that's this side my side looks exactly the same she's not looking right now but basically that's it it's just like a corridor and they're doing some renovations right now and stuff that's a little ice machine there's a playground right here but this playground is like under construction as well so we went to another playground you can't see it from right here but it's basically across the field over there the only good thing about the hotel is that um, they do breakfast every morning. <laughs> and I say I'm not gonna lie, like that's the only good thing because then I mean I'm getting into the habit of waking up early, which y'all already know that was a goal for me to start getting up at seven. And um, I don't have to worry about making my own breakfast. So not only am I getting up early, but I'm getting up early and having breakfast. And y'all know me, I normally don't get my first meal till about like one o'clock in the afternoon. So that's good. But um yeah, so it is just I don't have I'm still trying to process everything, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. But basically tomorrow we're gonna know more. Um tomorrow we have to go to the reception center. Um we have to get our IDs and all that because getting on and off base right now is like a nightmare as well because every time basically you come on an army base you're supposed to like scan your id and we don't have an id right now the id that we have is our old military ids from when he was national guard and obviously like i said he's not national guard no more so it doesn't work and every time we come on base we gotta like give this explanation and it, like depending on who's at the gate that shit like it don't always work out good because for example like yesterday we went off base and we went to go get some food we actually found a jamaican spot if you want to like know what i think about it you gotta watch my old vlog regardless you should watch my like my last vlog but anyways we found a jamaican spot and you know we ate and stuff come back on base and uh, I guess it, you could tell it was a new guy that was at the um, that was scanning the IDs, and he was kind of like not being difficult, but he was being a little bit more difficult than than everybody else that we spoke to before, because he was just like, oh, if y'all don't have an ID, you gotta go basically to the welcome center to get like a visitors pass. And I was like, honestly, I was about 10 seconds away from being like, say what? but i thought about it i'm like you know what arguing with him ain't gonna make it no better let's just be nice um and we just basically asked to talk to the other guy that was in charge and explain our situation to him and he told us to go ahead because wasn't nobody gonna do that like i'm not visiting i live here like i'm staying here and i already been here since like the day before and we went on and off base about four times before that and nobody told us that so i'm like nah i'm not about to do that and i was starving and we had all the kids in the car and all the food and the kids are crying all that i'm not gonna go sit at the reception center for god knows how long to get a visitor pass to go to this goddamn hotel like that was just not about to happen but anyways right now Deontay actually just went to go weigh my car because I had a little mishap with my whole weight situation and um, Yeah, he's on his way back. But of course, you know Deontay anytime he leaves us. He takes full advantage He's on a whole like I don't know what you call that like, you know 
I don't even know how to explain it, but you know when somebody leave the house and they just get so excited They just try to do everything that they can find to do outside just to kill time I swear to God. That's what he does every time he leaves like he leaves and he leaves to do one thing and he ends up doing like 50 other things. But today it worked out in my favor because I actually have a package that's at his sister's house. Because since we don't live anywhere, I've actually been using his sister's house as my address on all my packages. So yeah, I've been having like packages and stuff go there and it's like 30 minutes from the base. So obviously we don't just go there casually all the time. So yeah, where he went to weigh the vehicles though was close. So I figured he was gonna stop. So I called him and I was like, hey, where you at? He wasn't trying to tell me. And I was like, are you at Nina's? And he was like, nah, I'm leaving. Like trying to make it look like he's on his way. I was like, all right, well, did you get my package? And then he was like, oh, I didn't see no package. And then he got out of the car, realized he was still there. Lying butt. But anyways, I didn't really care. I really just wanted my package, so. I'm actually glad he was there. But anyways, y'all, so I ordered, y'all know Jacqueline Hill, right? You got to. If you're watching me and you're on YouTube, you know Jacqueline Hill. Y'all, look at this hotel that we live in. Like, dead ass. So, it's, first of all, it's dark. First of all, it's dark. But, um, no, first of all, it's a hot mess because, ooh, can I get this over, though? I guess I can't. I can't adjust this. Oh, they got it stuck. I was trying to like pull the current back, but I can't. But anyway, so the room's a mess because I had to take all the stuff out of my car in order for Deontay to weigh my car because he's supposed to weigh my car empty. And um, yeah, basically this room is too small for all the stuff that we brought here. So when he comes back, I'm going to actually put all the stuff that I'm not using back in my car. Um, but basically, it's dark. I did a room tour in the last vlog. But just a quick overview. This is what it's looking like. Just like literally a standard hotel room. Two queen beds, a couch, a TV. The bathroom area is right there. And then we have a little kitchenette. This is our house. Like cannot believe this like this is it this is it y'all and uh, yeah we're five people five people you hear me five people two adults and a ch baby like two adults two kids and a baby like insane like 10 out of 10 do not recommend but anyways yeah so back to what i was saying about jacqueline hill so, um, y'all know she came out with some, what do you call it, some, oh my god, Biscuit, move, this dog is, this is, listen, this place is too small for all of us, we all tripping over each other and everything, but, um, so, she came out with a jewelry line, Jacqueline Roxanne, honestly, that shit was news to me, like, um, I don't follow up with her like I normally do but i mean at the same time i feel like with all her other launches like i usually feel like i know about it ahead of time but this like when when i seen her post the video like doing the reveal i was like damn this is the first time i'm hearing this but it's probably once again because i don't follow up with her no more so i haven't been watching her vlogs but nevertheless i did go take a little peeky peek at what she had and uh, it looked good like i'm not gonna lie and i was actually her timing was perfect because i've actually oh my battery is gonna die i'm gonna have to change this battery but i've actually been thinking about getting like some jewelry i've been talking about it i'm trying to up my game and all that good stuff but um i've been looking into getting like you know at least one um decent necklace because i have to wear real jewelry so i have to be like really intentional with the stuff that i buy so um yeah like her timing for dropping these were actually perfect granted i don't think these are solid gold but they're gold plated um i think that means it's covered in gold and then like the inside material itself is not full gold but i mean for the price point of them i do think they should be nicer you know like not like costume jewelry so i'm hoping it won't irritate 
my skin if not i'm sending this shit back but let me just go yeah so anyways yeah so let me just show y'all what i got it the lighting is not great but you know we just gonna have to make it work because this is my house now y'all so get with the program anyways basically um it's called jacqueline roxanne once again i ordered i want to say i think i ordered two different stuff um so not a lot because like i said i mean they're not solid gold but they still weren't cheap so i only ordered two stuff um and it's from this company called imminent i'm gonna put it on the screen but if you type in Jack jacqueline roxanne it'll pop up and then it'll redirect you to this page anyways so this is gonna be my first time seeing this stuff as well so it just came in a standard brown box with some brown paper in it to kind of like stuff the box so the stuff aren't just like rolling around so i mean there's nothing impressive about the packaging it's dead ass just like regular um and then now the first box just a standard white box looks like this literally just the whole thing is white i guess except this let me see i guess this is her actual packaging okay now this is kind of cute okay um this is cute it says jacqueline roxanne and i don't know if you can tell but it kind of has like a like a snake print or is that like a crocodile print i don't know it has like a texture to it and the lettering is gold it's like cursive it's really nice this i was gonna say first when i just saw this that i'm very underwhelmed because i've actually ordered stuff from almost every launch that jacqueline has had her eyeshadow palette um just all her launches i've ordered stuff and um her packaging is usually pretty nice so like this was definitely gonna be like girl what are you doing but this is nice i think this was attached right here as well and it fell out but basically it's um it's a gold earring and it's like attached by the chain it's supposed to be like a handcuff earring and um basically i bought it to wear on this side of my ear because i do have the top part of my ear right here pierced so i'm gonna put one of them up here and then the other one i have a piercing right here that i'm gonna put it at i think it's gonna be really cute um i'm going oh i really like this let me see if i can show you all these details for real for real so it's got some stones obviously not real diamonds or anything on the outside right here and then there's also some on the inside right here as well it's really nice it's cute she is giving and then it's the exact same on the other handcuff like it's really cute really 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 cute um and then it just says with love xo jacqueline up top cute 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 i'm definitely gonna be putting all these in my ears today probably and then this one right here oh yes oh my god yes okay so i wow these are heavy they even ripped the box so i basically ordered me some hoop earrings and i didn't just want regular hoops she has one on there it's called the twist and basically this is what they look like they're like twisted gold hoop earrings y'all these are a vibe these are a vibe they're kind of like they kind of they're not casual because you know hoops are kind of like i feel like hoops are definitely a little bit more dressy you know they say the bigger the hoop the bigger the whatever but um i do don't feel like hoops are casual i feel like hoops to me give me like a sleek top knot with like a nice bodysuit waist snatch or like a tight ass dress it give me like a a certain like a body kind of vibe 
so I probably won't be wearing these like every day like how I wear these ones because these ones are smaller so they're a little bit more more everyday kind of these are real gold though um but yeah I'm definitely gonna be wearing these like when I'm going somewhere and I just want to you know have a look a, a little different vibe and I just ordered me a wig a new wig so yeah all right y'all so i came back outside because the lighting's a little bit better out here but the sun is going down but anyways these are the earrings huh oh yes please so these are the earrings the um the twist hoops they are heavy as you can see they have a little bit of a hang but not like any type of way where i feel like i'll be uncomfortable and then this is what the chain earring looks like I like it. I just feel like I wish the chain was a little bit longer. I don't know. But I do like it. And I definitely would wear it like this. Um, but y'all see what I mean by the hoops though are not like everyday earrings. I feel like it's just a little bit dressy. And if I wear it every day, then I feel like when I am going out, I'm going to look basic. You feel me? So I'm going to put my other earrings back in these. But I'm going to keep these in because I really do like these a lot. And then I'm gonna just, you know, put these bigger hoops in when I'm actually trying to like stand out a little bit. But based on these, I'm gonna wear it for a little bit before I just jump the gun and go order more stuff though. But I'm gonna wear it for a little bit, see if my ears start itching or doing anything weird. If not, then I'll actually go probably like look into, cause she has regular hoops that aren't like this thick, like a classic hoop. Um, I actually would buy those as well and then she has like regular earrings like you know so you know I would look at those I don't think she has any necklaces on her site but yeah it's mostly just earrings and stuff Dana missed her nap time and she's like being so bad look at her little butt <laughs> I don't even know what that is but we trying to figure out dinner right now because it's Sunday and apparently a lot of stuff out here closed or maybe because it's close to an army base so a lot of stuff are closing early so most of the spots that we was looking up close at like 5 and it's like 5 30 now but I mean I'm like there's a Panera bread that I'm saying I could get something from they have like half half like it's like a half and half like sandwich and salad combo I'm okay with that plus there's a soup on the menu that Dana can have but Deontay's saying it's expensive I think it's just because he doesn't want Panera because honestly if it was something he wanted it was $14 he would definitely get it but he's saying it's expensive so I don't know but I mean the salad I have in my car it does sound good I really would like to eat that um, but whatever either way I think we will figure it out the commissary doesn't close till 7 so if we can't figure nothing out then one of us gonna have to just run to the commissary get a bag of chicken or something and we gonna cook but the only thing with cooking is we basically don't have a fridge in here because it's so tiny so whatever we buy to cook we have to cook like really exact and we have to eat it all otherwise it'll really be a waste so yeah but anyways i'm about to dip set y'all probably won't see me till tomorrow because like i said tomorrow is gonna be a long day and we gonna meet up with his sister tomorrow too and she's gonna kind of help us like figure out our housing situation and everything because this hotel baby <laughs> it is not it we need to figure out where to live we are too big of a family to be staying here what do you need i just wanted to show you the halloween look i did your lip is so dry please find the lotion Look at this, your lip is cracking right here. You don't feel that? Um, I didn't even touch it. Well, this was my Halloween look. It looks nice. <laughs> you need to find that. And put it on your lip and then put the aquifer on your lip. Yo, and I'm trying to upload my vlog for tomorrow. So the vlog, actually not for tomorrow, for today, because today is Sunday. So this week's vlog, but y'all this shit says 15 percent and let me just give y'all a hint it's been like uploading for like not an hour but almost an hour now it's just at 15 percent my guess is because it's the hotel's wi-fi it's slow as shit so yeah that's another no-go 
but I'm out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. No, it's blurry. Anyways, good morning, y'all. So sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to make breakfast, which ends at 9. It's like 8.30. But I left my car key. I'm like partially dressed. Fuck. I'm going to see if Deontay wants to just come with me. Oh. I'm starving. Forgot my car key. I was about to ask if you want to just come with me, but... All right. All right, so he's about to stay, pack up the baby bag, and I'll do all that because I told y'all today's gonna be a busy day. Honestly, we wanted to be started with everything already. Um, it's like I told you, it's almost 9 o'clock. The reception center opens at 8, and I've seen a lot of posts online saying basically, like, you know, like when you go to a clinic or whatever it's like an all-day thing it kind of seems like I'm so out of breath kind of seems like that's how it's gonna be like we're just gonna be there all day doing stuff um so we didn't want to get there and get like stuck in like like a whole ass of people and just end up being there longer than we need to because you know we got young babies and shit and Dana was really fussy last night. I don't, I don't know what was up with that, but she kept like waking up and like crying and being like really fussy. But anyways, I'm about to drive over here. <sighs> oh, this morning I heard, um, I guess they do like wake up calls here. So like hella early, there was like this big ass, like, like an intercom, like an alarm which is a little bit crazy but thankfully i was already up which is why i'm late right now actually i'm just like i don't think me or deontay got like really much rest last night because like i said dana kept getting up and crying and stuff so between her and king like we just were, were up like every every like 30 minutes and it, it was a little bit annoying i'm not gonna lie but every now and then she has those nights, you know, like she's bigger, she's like two, but at the same time, like every now and then she has those nights where we either have to end up sleeping with her or something because she's just like, you know, like she just needs us a little bit. And that's, ugh, there goes my wake up alarm, but bitch, I'm already up. I'm about to have to adjust this because ain't nobody waking up at 8.30 no more. It's a thing of the past, but yeah like that's what ended up happening with uh deontay last night he basically ended up sleeping with her i'm a fucking idiot i'm not paying attention y'all i'm not going in the right area to park i'm about to though i know this lady looking at me like bitch can you drive <sighs> i didn't even brush my teeth or anything i literally just like threw on some clothes i took a shower before i went to bed last night because I knew I was about to be up this morning and I'm not a take a shower as soon as you wake up type of gal like hell nah I feel like that shit will send my body in shock um okay I'm about to grab as much food as I can I'll tell you what this breakfast shit being right here is clutch because I could just grab stuff without thinking about making nothing to eat because making breakfast for everybody right now when we're trying to head out the door is not it but grabbing something to go is it so anyways i'm about to go in here i'm not bringing the camera obviously but yeah. burn myself with the coffee Ugh. Didn't get much today. It seems like they have the same stuff for breakfast every day, which might get a little redundant after a while, but it's whatever. It's military, and honestly, military people, they, they're troopers when it comes on to what the fuck they eat, because if you've been to basic training, you know that, it, 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 yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I've seen Deontay have, um, like, his MREs, because he brought one home. It was... <sighs> 
was hard to even look at. But anyways, um, y'all, so tell me why I just peeped that they have, oh look, it's a lady that's son uh, we were playing with yesterday. Chrissy was playing with. <laughs> I made a friend yesterday, y'all. We went to the little playground across from us and there was a lady and her two boys. I told y'all that she was staying there for over a month. I just seen her and her older son. Uh, it's so crazy that he's been out of school for over two months. Oh, that raccoon is bold. So cute, though. It's a lot of stray cats out here. Shit. I would, but ugh, I can't. I can't with another pet right now. Not after my sister's puppy situation. I'm like scarred now. But, um, y'all, so when I went to go get the breakfast just now, I seen, I'm pretty sure it was pompous. Like pompous grass growing like right beside like the entrance. And I'm like, bitch, y'all know this shit is in high demand right now? Like, everybody and their mama want some pompous in their house right now. Everybody's going for that boho look. And uh, myself included because I, um, I bought some vases <clears throat> for, I guess, whenever we get a house. And I, I want some pompous to go in it. But shit, if they got free pompous here. But I'm pretty sure it's you're not allowed to pick pompous on an army base so i'm not even gonna do that but i mean that was nice to see Whew. all right so we gotta hurry up and eat this get the kids dressed and get out of here you all probably won't see me till later y'all we got left at the hotel yeah so basically Deontay's recruiter told him that based like he gonna be doing a lot of I guess paperwork for himself so there wasn't a reason really for us to go wait for this light to adjust a little bit yeah so there wasn't gonna be like nothing for us to do and that basically we might have ended up just like having to stay in the car for a majority of the time and you know it was really optional to go so I decided not to go. Honestly, I was gonna go still just because this hotel room, y'all. Like, it's so hard being in a hotel room with three kids. That's this little. But I decided not to go in the end, honestly, because I was doing my makeup. Like, there's no other reason I was doing my makeup. And it was taking a little while because I bought a new airbrush machine. And, y'all, it was taking me, like, way too long to figure it out. So... You know, we have a lot of things to to get sorted, and I just felt like he was wasting time. I felt like he was wasting time sitting here waiting for me, especially if I wasn't, like, even necessary to go. So, I'll just let him go ahead, and I'll catch up with him later. But and now I'm done. I actually um, I filmed a video. I'm going to edit it right now because it, it's a really quick, easy video to edit and start on the next vlog y'all oh my god another reason why i hate this hotel room like reason number 2005 um yeah it took me six hours yesterday to upload this video like yesterday's vlog like i don't even know if it's live now or if it's set as a premiere but it was supposed to go live yesterday which i need to go check that right now actually because if it didn't go live i need to post it right now which means the vlog would have been late and i'm trying to be on a schedule but y'all like this is really not working out for me but i don't know if i told y'all this but I did like I've been shopping a lot obvious well not obviously but as per usual but I bought this pair of jeans from Fashion Nova it's supposed to be like a boyfriend jeans and y'all I'm so upset I'm so obsessed I need a belt for it because you know boyfriend jeans are a little bit baggier so you know it doesn't really oh my arms jiggling i can feel it but it doesn't really fit my waist so i need to invest in a good belt but what do y'all think i love it <laughs> 
I love that it's not like super super tight like a super fitted jean I feel like I don't know the older I get now my style is definitely not like super tight jeans I feel like if I am wearing jeans I want it to be kind of like a looser fit with like maybe like a bodysuit and a little crossbody bag with maybe a pair of heels hopefully you're imagining my vibe there but I think that would be super cute um I can't wait to really style these like I really want to style them and take some photos and stuff I was thinking about maybe doing that today but I have to figure out Deontay's schedule I don't at this point I don't know what time he's gonna come back and we're actually hungry Christy and I just ate the rest of the pizza that we got last night but I'm still hungry I don't know if she is but I'm still hungry so if he's not back soon or if I don't hear from him soon we're, I'm probably gonna have to pack up the kids and go try to find something but I'm trying to avoid that because you know I just really don't want to do that but if I have to I will cuz we ain't finna stay here and starve but yeah I don't even know what we want to eat I also do need to find a Walmart around here because y'all my photos came from so I ordered some photos like actual prints because I want to make basically what do you call that like you know how models have like a lookbook or a portfolio and they go into like agencies and they show their portfolio um, I basically ordered a lot of my work printed out so I could make a physical portfolio for myself I ordered it before I knew we were gonna move because I wanted to put it actually in my studio but now that we've moved obviously I don't have a studio right now so I'm just gonna have the portfolio physically to take with me I guess on jobs or just wherever like if I'm trying to get hired somewhere it would be good to take and just be like you know here's my work you know instead of like just having people have to go look you up on the internet because a lot of times you're welcome a lot of times if you leave it up to people to do that they just won't you know unless they have a reason to um so i don't know what i did with the photo so oh i remember yes yeah, so i put him right here and let me show y'all i'm so excited like i'm trying to be quiet because i really don't want to wake Nina up but Y'all, they look so good. So, so, so good. I ordered them off M Picks. Y'all know Deontay and I have done a couple photo shoots together. And a photographer suggested them to me to get prints to like hang up in my house. And I actually have printed with them before. So I knew that they were good quality. But y'all, this is this is really nice. So this is not obviously how it came, but basically, these are my prints. Um, it's so nice, and I got bigger sizes just so that, you know, it could be big enough for them to see all the details, like how smooth it is, like crease wear, ain't no crease, like, ah. Uh, so perfect i just I love it oh my god it looks so good and i love how the skin tone just looks so true to color uh, i can't wait to put these in my little portfolio and i got like 40 photos printed out so i think 40 or 40 something and then look at this one this is one of my favorites too oops y'all look at that blend okay okay ah. um both these photos to deontay took them he takes the best photos y'all i swear to god but yeah so he took both of these photos for me but yeah so i gotta go get a little album for that it's been a little bit difficult i would say like just thinking about starting over business wise right now because like honestly in fort wayne i kind of had built up a little name for myself a lot of people knew about me i was getting a lot of inquiries for weddings for next year and i'm pretty sure i would have already had a few weddings booked but the fact that i had to relocate now i have no weddings booked for next year yet and i don't even know like if i'll be able to work remember i was telling y'all i wanted to work and go to school i feel like right now 
it's looking like I'm gonna have to choose between both and do like one at a time because y'all this daycare shit is not it like I was really looking forward to like getting the kids in daycare just so I can have time to myself in the daytime and be like more productive but y'all this daycare shit looking like I'm gonna be paying like a thousand plus dollars for these kids to like for daycare and that's not it like that is not it i do not see myself spending that so if that's the case i'm just not gonna do that i'm gonna work alternate shifts with deontay just like i was doing before i'm gonna try to see if i can um get something beauty related but honestly i probably can't yo my makeup is popping not gonna lie <laughs> shout out to my new airbrush machine because baby this highlight God, it is so nice. Anyways, I am about to edit. I'm about to light these candles actually because I just wanted to just smell nice in here, even though it's a hot mess. And speaking of candles, y'all, so I ordered a whole bunch of candles from Bath and Body Works, and they came, and I'm so obsessed. Like. I'm so obsessed like look I got like 12 candles in here like definitely enough to last me all year so I'm excited about that and I just can't wait for us to have a spot now because I mean a lot of these I bought them like holiday fragrances and uh, you know we go on our trip for Christmas and New Year so that's already a big chunk out of the holidays and then fall is already over with and then before you know it's gonna be spring and you know a lot of these candles they they last like for like months and I don't want to like be sitting on a whole bunch of like warmer warmer fragrances like in the spring and summertime like I just don't want to do that you know I, I want it to make sense so I'm kind of like anxiously just waiting to get a spot so I can you know start making it homey <sighs> but anyways I've spoken enough <sighs> Deontay's sister should be coming here today too so that hopefully we can figure out a living situation because honestly what I don't even want to say it out loud because Nosy's right here just walking around and I don't want to say nothing until I'm sure that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to just zip it until we figure it out. But what are you doing? Sure. <coughs> Clean up after yourself and you know. Okay. Let me call Deontay and see what's going on with him because baby... Like I said, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, Chrissy. Is mommy? When daddy gets inside, give him the phone. He's inside. Give him the phone. Okay. I'm about to go get some food. Hungry as a bitch. Hungry like dog. It is what time? 2.36. Deontay been home for probably about an hour now, actually. Um, I'm. Uh, we're going to go try out this Greek place. Well, we're not going to go. I'm going to get the food and come back. Uh, sucks being like in the hotel room, but at the same time, like we're not really trying to like constantly be gathering up all the kids to like go out. And do stuff especially especially because a lot of these places are literally right outside the main gate so to do all that honestly to just go right there and back is just kind of pointless um there's a golf place not golf a bowling place like right around the strip the, the, right around the corner from the hotel that i honestly want to go oh my god what so they got an amazon prime truck let me find out i can't have my amazon stuff here shit okay because i've been holding off on ordering stuff and either way i'm not about to be buying nothing because i'm broke right now like so broke so let me tell y'all basically a quick little 
update of what Deontay said. So basically, he, why do I keep saying basically? So anyways, he went today to take care of his paperwork. Today was, I guess, just only paperwork. So, you know, like the basic information, all that stuff. And then um, it's a four day process for in, day, in processing. So during that four day process, we're gonna, we're supposed to have like our, um, like application put in for housing and all that i actually had um was talking to the lady from housing already and uh, i just emailed her over or housing application but i didn't get to fill it out properly so i don't know maybe maybe she they won't accept it and i'll have to like refill it out but hopefully they can accept it at least get us on the wait list because from what I'm hearing this wait list is a little bit crazy and then also hopefully so what I didn't want to say earlier in the crib so what we're thinking about doing honestly is um, going to stay at Deontay's sister's house Nina the same one that we had came to visit before because her house is a lot bigger it's granite it's not like right here on base but that's perfectly fine actually it's um like 30 minutes out Ooh. it's like 30 minutes out so I can just we can just like go stay there and then Deontay will just get up early in the morning and come here but you know like as far as me it'll be a little bit more convenient even Chrissy because for as long as basically what they told us is like if we end up being at the hotel for like longer than 30 days or longer than the 10 days basically we pay for it out of our BAH that's our housing allowance and um, like they can't legally take more than our monthly BAH from us so basically they just gonna take our whole entire bah to pay for us living there which is okay if you don't have anywhere to go obviously it'll it'll work because at least you know you'll have somewhere to stay and it's the same thing as like finding a place on base and them taking your bah for a place on base but the reason why we're not doing that is just because um for one we don't have to like we can actually stay somewhere that we can save our BAH, which is actually going to be a lot better because we can save up to probably get a house. And then also, because, what do you call that? Um, oh, fuck, my brain is farting. I'm so hungry, I can't even think straight. But the other reason too, yeah, that hotel room is hella small. And, like, I'm not going to tell you exactly how much our BAH is, but our BAH, BAH is based, based off a of rank, right? and just to give you an estimate let's say it's fifteen hundred dollars basically they will take the entire thing and i'm just like okay well i mean it's cool and all basically just paying rent to stay somewhere for the month but if i'm giving up i'm saying mine like it's really mine it's deontes but if we're gonna like do away with our entire bah basically be paying like fifteen hundred dollars a month I don't see myself doing that to stay in that little ass hotel room I just really feel like we can get we can get something else and actually be paying that amount for our own space you feel me so honestly the only way I would see myself doing that is if like that was our only option so you know if we didn't have family here or any of that but we do have family here thankfully so we're gonna go more than likely stay at nina's i at first i was saying we was gonna stay at a hotel for the first 10 days that the um the army is gonna pay for but i don't even want to do that honestly we've been at the hotel for like probably like three four days now and i'm ready to get out it's too small uh, the kids, their sleep schedule is all like jacked up right now because you know there's no nap time. Like, they not can't take a nap when it's just one big open room. Like, it's just not working out. 
I, we, I need to have a specific space where I can put her down and be like, okay, listen, it's nap time. And she knows it's quiet time and she's away. And also, like, for my sanity, I need to be able to put them in a whole separate room from myself and just be like, okay, like, y'all playing here for a second, you know? Like, give me some breathing room. Like, I'm trying to film, edit everything, like, in this one room where these kids are watching TV, playing, screaming, like, it's just too much going on. It's messing with my creative juices. I'm trying to think, and I can't even hear myself think. So, it's just not going to happen like that. So, yeah, we're going to go to his sister's house, Twerk Pines. You know what's crazy, though? So, the people... From what I'm seeing, a lot of people out here are saying they're finding it hard to find places out here to live. Like, it's hard to find places to stay. But I don't understand how because I I feel like I keep passing places that saying, like, you know, like, have up signs that they're, they have places available for rent or, like, uh, realtors and, like, all that. So I don't know if it's just that, like, the type of housing that they want they're finding it hard or just in general okay now this right here is a little bit confusing okay i think i'm supposed to drive this way i'm confused as fuck am i tripping yeah i am tripping how the hell am i supposed to get to this place oopsie I'll tell you what, I hate driving out here. Like. <sighs> Anyways, I'm about to get off this because I'm currently lost. And, like, I'm not lost. I know where I'm going, but I just don't know how to get there. So, I'm going to get off this. Okay, I guess this person has stopped. some cute little houses they had a little, little dingy at first but i mean the back part of them don't look bad no the front don't look bad at all it actually is reminding me of florida housing okay i'm just driving all through this goddamn neighborhood this person must be from the midwest with that big ass star on their house anyways i'm out this has been my breakfast for the past three days here i'm like seriously i've had the same thing every day oatmeal with raisins pecans and sugar and i'm currently trying to make myself a resume so i can find jobs out here obviously Meanwhile, I'm uh, taking care of moving stuff, all kinds of stuff, sending emails, just so much. Anyways, <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to be productive today because y'all, basically, from what I realize, if I wait on the army and Deontay to get stuff done, stuff just won't get done. So, so far today, I've already called housing. Um, I'm doing back and forth emails because apparently if I get a letter from them just confirming that I'm on the wait list and that they at least have a like an estimated neighborhood that we'll be living, living in, then I can use a temporary then I can use a temporary address, so like your sister's address or this hotel's address. Um, so the Chrissy can go to school. but yeah so i took care of that this morning and hopefully by next week we'll have her going to school because y'all yeah you can tell she ain't doing nothing she's here wasting time i just get out um it's pretty cold today so i don't think i don't think we'll be going out i wanted to get some stuff done but i don't know um deontay took my car so basically i'm stuck here anyways until he gets back and I want to set up my ID because I have a military ID right now, but it still says National Guard. 
it works somehow though like whenever I go in and out the gate they scan it and so far nobody's giving me any shit about it so obviously it's working but I do need to get an updated one and what else do I gotta do I'm still on the hunt for a photo album like it's so crazy I went to two Walmart yesterday no luck with the photo album I called Hobby Lobby they said they don't have one so I'm just gonna see if I could probably find like an office depot or just keep calling around or I might make a post in like in the wives group and ask them where I can find a, a photo album because I really do need one of those Dana is like trying to photobomb me but anyways yeah basically right now I'm just working so yeah and having my breakfast, my oatmeal, my trusty old oatmeal. You know that song, babe? And you've been waiting for this love in a way. You say, Daddy's home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, you yummy. Bite. You bite. You bite. You bite. You bite. <laughs> <laughs> she still got that one sauce she's trying to give you. <laughs> she determined. I'm about to eat it. Okay, you want me to eat it, baby? <laughs> 